Today I will be showing you how to add two different mirrors to your VRChat world. I will add the option for a low quality mirror and a high quality mirror. I'm going to make two mirror toggles so we can choose which mirror to activate. When we activate one, the other one will be deactivated, so we don't have both mirrors active at the same time. To code these toggles, I'll be using Udon, which is the new way to program VRChat worlds in Unity. Udon is still in alpha and constantly changing, so I recommend that you check out the official documentation to look up the most up-to-date information on Udon. For this tutorial, I'm going to make the mirrors local, so each player can turn the mirror they want on or off for themselves. I was going to make the mirrors global and synced for everyone, but I think it's more player-friendly if the mirrors are local. In my current scene, I have the VRC mirror and a cube I made which will be the toggle for the mirror. If you want to know how to set the scene up, you can check out my previous tutorial on how to make a VRChat world in Unity. The mirror prefab should be in the prefabs folder of the VRChat SDK, so you can just drag it into the scene and position it to wherever you want using the move tools. By default, the mirror will reflect everything and be high quality. We want another mirror which will be a lower quality mirror that only reflects the player and the skybox. Duplicate this high quality default mirror. I'm going to rename these to VRC mirror low quality and VRC mirror high quality. In the inspector, you will see the VRC mirror reflection script. In the reflect layer section, click on nothing to untick everything, and then player and mirror reflection. You can turn these mirrors off in the inspector for now so they don't overlap. This overlapping won't matter later when we set up the toggles because the mirrors will never be both on at the same time. Now add a toggle for the low quality mirror. You can duplicate the already existing cube and move it to wherever you like. I made another material for this object so it looks different to the other toggle, but you don't have to. Now add an Udon script to this object. In the inspector, add component Udon script. Make a new program and open Udon graph. We want to change the active states of two game objects, the high quality mirror and the low quality mirror. Drop these objects into the Udon graph Look for game object set active. The instance would be the high quality mirror game object and the value would be a boolean which is a true or false value which determines whether the mirror is set active or not. So we want to find the current state of the mirror with get active self then invert this to the opposite value with something called a unary negation. If the mirror is on, turn it off, and if it's off, turn it on. We want to make sure the low quality mirror is turned off when the high quality mirror is turned on, so we never have two mirrors active at the same time. Add another set active, and this unticked box means it's a boolean with a false value, so this will just turn the low quality mirror off whenever this game object is interacted with. Add an interact event by pressing space, which should bring up a search menu. Now when we interact with the mirror toggle for the high quality mirror, it will turn the high quality mirror on and off. And that's it. Do the same thing for the low quality mirror toggle. Make a new Udon graph and drop the two game objects in. Drag the line out like this and find set active. Find the current state of this mirror, invert it, and that will be the value of our set active. 
and we want to set the high quality mirror as inactive. Make a new set active and attach it to the high quality mirror. This makes it so that when a player interacts with the low quality mirror toggle, the low quality mirror will turn on or off depending on whether it was already on or not, and then it makes sure the high quality mirror is turned off. You can also change the interaction text of the toggle objects. This is what players should see when they get close to the toggles if they have their interaction UI settings turned on in VRChat. So I'm just going to write mirror low quality and mirror high quality. Now test the world in VRChat to see if the mirrors are working. You can see that the mirrors are toggled on and off and there is no overlapping of the mirrors. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments how you went. Until next time, bye!